So, you know what bothers me? Cadence turned Twilight into an alicorn. No, no, get your crazy ship fix out of here. That's not what I meant. It's time for a flashback. So you remember Cadence? Cadence, the sole insertion into the franchise that made Hasbro scream, buy our toys at Bronies. The pretty pink alicorn princess that every Brody loathed until they were real at the Camelot wedding. And now I think everyone tolerates her? I mean, the sunshine, sunshine thing. I am aware of a certain schoolyard rhyme featured in this episode. What? And that a few members of the fandom find its manic dance-related antics amusing. Sunshine, sunshine. And that you might be tempted to try it if you're a complete idiot. Sunshine, sunshine. Because it's so stupid. Ladybugs awake. <laughs> sunshine, sunshine. Ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. shake. <laughs> uh, I hate you. Awesome. Yeah, that. So now everyone loves her, I guess? So what do I think? I don't mind her as much as the latter addition to the Alicorn family. Cough, cough, Twilight, cough. But I guess this is just a mixture of me just getting into the fandom without officially joining, and the fact that Cadence was always an Alicorn. No midlife pony crisis about Alicorn evolution here. But the little known fact about Cadence is that she was always meant to be a unicorn, and her Alicorn status was probably meant for things like this. This is Cadence! Help me get ready for my wedding! My dress is so pretty! Gross. But now all of a sudden we get McSparkle Pants to turn into an alicorn, and then suddenly we get a convenient book that Cadence is an artificial alicorn too, that ages. Again, I say, convenient. So my thoughts? The big overlords at Hasbro just wanted to make some more money, cause... We've got to have money. And turning Cadence into a pretty pink princess was that sacrifice. So DHX over in Mountie Land tried to fix the idea with an aging alicorn outside the Royal Sisters with another one, Twilight. Not that Twilight wasn't going to turn into an alicorn in her own right, but it's all too convenient, isn't it? Coupled with the fact that the Journal of the Two Sisters book kind of supports the idea and the difference between artificial and non-artificial alicorns, Kane's existence just makes the whole Twilight corn thing all the more probable. Just saying, ladies and germs. <laughs> Hello, KP. It is I, Drowning in Horseshoes. And I heard that you recently contacted our mutual friends Keg Standard and Phantom Horn from TBAP with a request that they film for you a cameo for your upcoming video. But of course, being the cowards that they are, they predictably dropped the ball and failed to deliver. And so I, in my infinite wisdom and grace, have chosen to step in and fill the void of the cameo of my own, which, if I may speak frankly, is far superior to anything that those two knuckleheads could have come up with. Now, I didn't exactly read the script, but I think I know you well enough to be fairly confident that I captured your artistic vision. So without further ado, I present to you the Drowning in Horseshoes I Love Kim Possible A Lot Cameo Experience Turbo Hyper Edition 2K14. <laughs> oh my god! These apples are huge! What is going on? How'd you get these big apples, Apple Jet? I grew them with Earth Pony Magic, Fluttershy. Also, what are you doing with my big apples? They're mine. I came here because I'm, I'm mad at you. You you sent me that, that birthday present in the mail. When I opened the box, it was just a fart. You put a fart in a box and sent it to me. <laughs> Why did you do that? If you were really my friend, you wouldn't send me a fart in a box, Applejack. I'm not really your friend. I'm not really Applejack. I'm Discord. I just disguised myself as Applejack to trick you and play a fart prank because I'm me. But no! Oh, I should have known you were Discord because your hat's the wrong color. That's right, I hate you. I thought we were friends, Discord. Why would you, why would you play a mean fart prank on me? Because I was never your friend. And neither was Applejack. We were in it together from the very beginning. We only care about these giant apples. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> what has become of my life? pounds in my pajamas. I've got 40,000 French francs in my fridge. I've got lots of lovely lira now the Deutsche Mark's getting dearer and my dollar bills would buy the Brooklyn Bridge. There is nothing quite as wonderful as money. There is nothing quite as beautiful as cash. Some people say it's folly but I'd rather have the lolly. With money you can pay 